Hi everyone, it's Andrea here and I'm here today again with another one of my Marilyn book spotlights. These have been requested by various people. So this um, book spotlight this week is on Marilyn Monroe from beginning to end by Michael Ventura, photographs by Earl Leaf. Now, this is the hardback. I'm not going to use the hardback to demonstrate this because the dust jacket's gonna keep slipping off. Um, so I'm actually going to use the paperback because I do have both editions. I do try and collect hardback and paperbacks if I can. It doesn't always work because I do fancy other books as well as Marilyn ones. So I tend to try and pick up either the hardback first when it comes out and then the paperback cheaper later. Or if I've got the paperback, I'll get the hardback later somewhere like Hay on White or from eBay or Amazon. So Earl Leaf was a photographer in the 40s and 50s. He photographed Marilyn from, I think it was 1950. until 1962 and basically this um, shows some of the photographs he took over the years yes from 1950 to 1962 so the first um, there's an introduction so the first chapter about the photography is 1950 the last of the secret years this is just before she became big news and these are some lovely pictures and I think it was at, they were taken at Joe Skank's house, I believe, who was one of the 20th Century Fox moguls. I think it was there. And she changed her outfit several times and she offered to do everything. I mean, he didn't take want to take many pictures that day. He felt he would got what he wanted in the first hour or so or the first roll of film and the first um outfit but she says oh no let me change outfits i can do handstands i can do cartwheels and she climbed trees um she had a little dog she read a script and so luckily for us early took some lovely photographs of marilyn at, on that day um ooh. Now the next time he photographed her was in 1952 at various events and at, that was at the uh, Henrietta Awards I believe, 1952. There's a bit of paper floating around, you will excuse that. Yeah, the Henrietta Awards. And then in 1953 um, at the premiere of How to Marry a Millionaire he was there for that and his pictures look so intimate like there's nobody else around but you can see people in the background there's a lovely one of here he's signing a book um with Humphrey Bogart on call um, there were loads taken at that one and then in 1956 was the next time at the um Had a, a Prince and the Showgirl sort of press conference it was for, I believe. I haven't read this book for a long time. I do like looking at the pictures. There's a lovely photograph in here somewhere, yeah. If I can find it. This one, I, I really like this picture. And I think the expression on her face here reminds me of uh, Princess Diana. There's just something about the way, the way she's looking. Not that she looks like Princess Diana, but the expression is very Diana-like. Um, so I'm just smiling at the photos because they're stunning. And then after that it was 1958 and this was a press party for Some Like It Hot. So there's lots of pictures from the Some Like It Hot party with her and, and uh, Tony Curtis. Yeah. You know what I mean? But they're lovely photographs I and mean, she looks absolutely gorgeous in in the the dress she's wearing which is also the dress that she that, which is also the cover photo this is from the sun like it hot press party and then he photographed her for the last time in 1962 at the 1962 golden globe awards where she looks far more fragile she does look older i don't think these are the best shots of her that he took I'm, I love the dress she wore. I'm not, see that's, that's a lovely photograph that from, from the Golden Globes. 
but I don't think these were his best shots and there's not that many of them contained within the book and then there's a 1997 postscript because that was when the book came out about and it says all about what would have happened and like June 1st 1997 marks what would have been his 71st birthday and then what would she have been had she lived, lived would she, you know, to guess. I mean, the, the book is lovely. The photographs are gorgeous. Um, I do like photo books. I love looking at different photos of, of Marilyn taken over the years. So I would recommend this. He hasn't made any outlandish claims like he slept with Marilyn, that she had six toes or an extra breast or anything ridiculous. Um, it's just literally photographs because they were lost for a long time. Um, and in an archive and I think it does tell you the story at the beginning in the introduction over 20 years ago a friend of a friend informed me that Earl Leaf a famous paparazzo photographer of the 50s and 60s was dying of emphysema and he thought I should try and preserve his photographic work I dutifully went to visit Leaf at his Hollywood home where he told me that he'd already willed the negatives of his work to the teen magazines he had shot them for so there was nothing I could do with his work. Earl died in 1980 and a little over a decade later I found out that the teen mags that Earl had sold his work to <clears throat> were going bankrupt and were selling their photo archive. I purchased their entire collection but found there were no Earl Leaf negatives there, only proof sheets. The publishers swore that they'd never had the negatives and Earl had told them just to make prints off the proof sheets as that was good enough for magazine usage. <clears throat> but while filing off the Monroe proof sheets, he noticed that Sam did not have Earl Leaf's name stamped on them, but read John R. with an address in Yonkers, New York. Michael Oakes immediately called the man to ask if he knew where the negatives were and replied that he had them and that Earl had willed them to him. Jo Michael asked John what he'd been doing with the negs for the last decade, to which he responded he'd just finished getting them in order but had done nothing with them. And then Michael... Oaks archive purchased over 100,000 Earl Leaf negatives that covered the entertainment world from the 50s through the 70s. So I do like the stories of rediscovering the photos as well and I do like things like that in books when they tell you this is how we came to get the photographs so here they are. They are lovely. They do cover the length of her stardom from 1950 when she started to first get noticed to 1962 when she died so this book I would recommend for the photos I mean there's a lot of you know information in it but it's all what people what 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 the writer thinks about her rather than you know her contemporaries but there's nothing <clears throat> offensive particularly in the text so I would recommend it it's a lovely collection of photographs so if you haven't got it Try and track this one down. I'm, I'm sure I've seen plenty of them on eBay and on Amazon um, and various other places. I've seen them in Hay and Y in the past and, and various other bookshops. So yes, if, if you like the look of this one, do track it down. I do do completely recommend this. Is one that, this is a lovely photo book. Okay, so that is the Marilyn book spotlight for this week. Um, <clears throat> next week again, I will be featuring another book for you from my Marilyn book collection. I haven't decided what it's going to be. Some of the books recommend that have been requested are <clears throat> biographies and before I actually uh, do spotlight on them I do want to reread them or at least have a chance to skim through them so that's why I'm doing the photo books and the <clears throat> thinner books first because these are easier for me to remember what they're about but some of the biographies have been quite a while since I've read them so I need to go back and have a, a look at them but I will do don't worry so that's all from me for now if you've enjoyed this video um, as, as always, give me the big thumbs up, share it with your friends, um, leave me a comment below if you've read this book or if you watched the other Marilyn video and there's any other books you want featured that aren't in the list that my friend George posted, please say, oh, do a spotlight on this, do a spotlight on that, I will happily do that for you. And don't forget, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please, please subscribe. I really appreciate every one of you that does click that button. and I really appreciate it. So that's all for me from now. I will be back with another Marilyn Spotlight next week. But before that, I'm sure I'll be back talking about some other books with you as well. So I will see you soon. Bye.